84. Detroit Lions. Brandon Pettigrew. Okay, Brandon, let me ask you. Um, today you're going to be signing your very first Upper Deck rookie cards. Tell me about the thrill, the excitement behind that. Uh, you know, that's exciting. Uh, that's obviously, it's a step up in the NFL now. Uh, it's a little bit more exciting for my friends. You know, they were amped about it. You know, they couldn't wait to get a card. Absolutely. Now, what about signing autographs for the fans? Is that something you enjoy? Is it kind of a hassle? Uh, not a hassle at all. You know, uh, you got to think about when, when you were young and, and the things that you wanted. You know, you'd love for an NFL player to take his time out of his day to, to sign an autograph for you. So, you know, that, I get a thrill out of that. Along those lines, do you have any autographs in your private collection that you can share with us today? Do I have any from NFL players? Yeah. I do not have any autographs. Well, who would you like to get if you could? Uh, I'm going to go with Jay Witten, some fellow tight ends, Gates, maybe some quarterbacks. Uh, I like Phil Rivers. Yeah, nice. Now, what's the most unusual thing you've ever been asked to autograph by a fan? Body parts to, to included. Body parts. Uh, breasts, okay. right above the butt. A couple of butts. <laughs> a couple of butts. Now let me ask you, as far as idols growing up, who was the guy that you wanted to emulate growing up and say, I want to be like him? Uh, I was big on Irving. Yeah, Cowboy. I was a big Cowboy right, fan right. and Novacek and those guys, but yeah. Irving balled out. You know, I, lo I loved Irving. What's your most cherished memory coming out of college? Uh, play A play that I had, I never think that I have a, a game-winning play. And I had one my junior year against uh, Texas Tech, and that's the biggest memory that I have. Is there something you do every morning? I, I get up and I eat. And then it's like iPod from there on out. Besides listening to head coach speeches, it's iPod, man. iPod. iPod. Any tunes you can share with us? Man. Any, any artists? Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne all the way. What makes you this year's most valuable rookie? Because I'm the man. I'm, I'm exciting. I'm, I'm the man for the job. I'm now, a, you're going to a team that was 0-16 last year. Anything you can do will help. Anything, I, Everything I do is going to help. You know, I'm going to do my best. You know, We're going to get it done. What's going to be the hardest part making the transition from college to the pros? Is it the playbook? Is it the magnitude of being in that situation? Is it additional fans? What's going to be the biggest hurdle you face? Uh, you know, there will be more fans. Um, the playbook's not really a, a big part, but, you know, just being around more elite players and being at the top of your game every play, you know, they're, they're going to they're gonna be at the top of their game. That's critical. Now tell me, uh, as far as Upper Deck, what's it like just being here at the Upper Deck Station today? Oh, man, it's exciting, man. Everybody's got a little pep in this up, even though it's a little early, but, you know, it's fun.